Okay, um, so once you've created your assignment, where to go and how do your students actually submit the assignment to you? So let's just click on one particular assignment, say it's a, it's a poster assignment you've set. Here's the blurb that you've uh, you've created and my advice to you is put as much information in here to stop the students coming back and asking you questions on a repeated basis. When a student goes to upload their file, if they haven't done it already, they're simply clicking on Browse. They will then find the file wherever it may be. Say, for example, it's a, uh, an Excel sheet. They click in there and click Upload the file. Okay, from a lecturer's point of view, where does that go once they click upload? If you click on uh, this hyperlink up here, now the students don't have this visible to them. So if you click on here, you'll see three of the students have submitted the assignments. Well, let's have a look. We have Joe Blogs 3 right down to draw, uh, Joe Blogs 9, to, uh, five different students, and three of these students have submitted them. You'll see here that we have a PowerPoint, a PDF, and an Excel. So it doesn't really matter what document they're required to. To submit it just comes up here you then will decide right I, I, I will look at uh, Joe blogs for I can open up the document here once I've opened it up I can click here and scroll down to the value of the grade I want to give them or I can type in some text in here all right so that's as simple as it gets if you want to uh, give them some more detailed feedback you just click on the grade button now when you click on that a window opens up for here with a bigger text box but also the options for you to browse and upload a file to him in return for example you may record some audio that you'd like to uh, send back to him or, or show him a completed version here's one I prepared earlier type thing so um, a word of warning once it, once you've finished that you click on save changes or indeed save and show next that's uh, moved to the next student when you have this option open for you here um, there's a couple of things I want to point out to you is first to the box down here is ticked to say send notification of emails so that means as soon as you click save an email is sent to all the students who have been graded and it's saying I have corrected your stuff here's your feedback now, the other uh, word of warning that I will say to you is on this sheet, and you can literally correct them all at uh, one fell swoop essentially, but then what you need to do is you need to click save all my feedback before you move pages okay so uh, if you don't click save uh, all my feedback you will lose all of the contributions you've made so it's important to click that every now and then you will note down here then final tip is um, to facilitate this I have allow quick grading that box tipped uh, ticked excuse me the other aspect is I have show 10 submissions per page so 10 students here if you have 80 students 90 students or so on you can actually click 90 students to have and you will just have a long scroll bar down your screen but remember please remember click all save all my feedback as often as you can and um, when you attach feedback to uh, for a student it will say last modified and for example it will have a file very similar to the students here it will have the file here that you've attached if there's no file attached it will just say last modified and it would give today's date and the grade will be will be saved it also allows you to update your grade at a later case if your student makes a plea with you and, and tries to argue the marks this facility is available okay so enjoy correcting